What's up everybody, Simon here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the young and the rich fleeing California and New York, and we're gonna figure out where they're going. Before I get into this video, I ask that you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. As always, I appreciate it, and it's free. So let's talk about the young and the rich fleeing California and New York. <music> So in the past, young professionals were fleeing to major cities because it was fun. There were bars. There were places to go out and eat. You could meet more people. There was just more variety, more culture, more excitement. The nightlife was incredible. That has changed on the West Coast with, say, San Francisco shutting down for most of the part. Los Angeles is obviously a much bigger place. So there's a lot to do there. And there's Hollywood. And New York is always up late. In fact, when I visit New York, usually the party starts around 11. You have dinners that start around 11 o'clock versus in San Francisco, it's like a 7.30, 8 o'clock thing. So now the young and the rich, they're fed up with what's happening in California. They're fed up with what's happening in New York. They wanna pay less taxes. So they're fleeing these heavily taxed states and we're gonna see where they're going. So according to Smart Assets and a Harvard University study, 80% of young adults now live within 100 miles of where they grew up. In this particular survey by Smart Assets, they analyzed adults under 35 years of age that are earning over 100,000 US dollars. Typically in the Bay Area, that's not a high earning age. However, obviously across the country, that's a different scenario altogether. So the first destination for these young and rich adults was Texas. That's right, Texas is ranked among the top destinations for people fleeing California and New York. Roughly about 15,000 came into the state of Texas within that category, while about 11,000 or so have left, which is an influx of about 4,000 uh, migrants into the state that are supposedly high net worth. Of course, it's fueled by the lack of income tax. No one wants to pay that crazy New York income tax or that crazy California income tax, which is through the roof. Texas makes its money by relying on property taxes as well as a high sales tax, but California has some of the highest sales tax as well. All right, so aside from Texas, you probably guessed it, Florida is the second leading state for rich entrepreneurs or young adults that are 35 and under that earn $100,000 or more. But Florida surprisingly had an inflow of only 3,400 people, according to Smart Assets. That is a big difference from the 15,000 that came into Texas. And just like Texas, Florida has a moderate uh, sales tax of 6%. California's average is 7.25, but in the Bay Area, it's 10.5. And New York is 4%. So you're trading off an income tax versus a sales tax, but overall, the income tax outweighs the sales tax. And if you guys remember, before you could write off your state tax on the federal level. So you were able to save a lot of money by doing that. And with the Trump organization, they changed that rule where the federal government would no longer allow you to write off state income taxes on your federal filing. With Florida being one of the lowest income tax states and sales tax states in the country with great weather or majority of it being great weather aside from that crazy hurricane that came in which i don't think i could ever deal with florida has definitely been a fun destination for young adults because of south beach the southern florida has a lot to offer a lot of families not the best schools in the most of the florida districts and compared to some of the schools in texas or even california however they are up and coming Washington is another state that had an influx of young individuals that are wealthy, and I'm surprised. They had 3,400 individuals, very similar to Florida, which I did not see coming at all. There are no income taxes, which is great, so it's like a better version of California, I guess. But affordability of living in Washington is through the roof. I visited Washington. It's a beautiful state and I was in Seattle and I loved everything about it. There's a lot of greenery, fresh air was there. It reminded me of a different version of San Francisco, but it also had the homeless problem 
It had a lot of the other problems I saw in San Francisco with drug use, etc. It was a little bit cleaner than San Francisco. However, it felt very aligned with San Francisco, except no income tax. So it's no surprise that people from the Bay Area or even California that are in Northern California decided to go to Washington. Colorado has been a state that's been receiving people very well. And Colorado was one of the first states that had cannabis open up. They had an influx of about 2,600 wealthy young individuals. However, it's a revolving door with 4,700 young individuals leaving. So they actually did not have an influx and they lost individuals leaving that state, which is kind of odd. Colorado is becoming a big tech hub. There are promising opportunities. It's a big cannabis industry hub. So I could see why a lot of people flock to Colorado. However, it also gets cold. It's not my scene. Um, I do want to visit Aspen, however, just to check it out. And here's an interesting one. New Jersey's on the list. They had 2,500 individuals that went to New Jersey from New York, I assume. Obviously, it's a bit cheaper to live in New Jersey than New York. New Jersey is a fun area as well. You, you get that lifestyle of Manhattan or New York. And I feel like you could get bigger land or bigger homes in New Jersey than you can in, say, Manhattan, obviously. So overall, if you are considering leaving, say, New York or California, Nevada, for whatever reason, was not on the list for smart assets. However, they had a lot of influx as well. Texas, I've had some friends that moved out to Texas, particularly the Dallas area and the Austin area. And I've had a lot of friends move out to Florida as well, all over Florida, where you could get some semi-affordable housing in comparison to what we have here in California. Anyway, comment below. Let me know your thoughts why people are leaving New York and California and what would you do if you live in these two states? Where would you go? And if you could move to anywhere, where would you live? I appreciate you watching. Give us a like, subscribe, and I'll check you here in the next video.